All right, all right, here we go. Stan's Pandemic Tips. Just gonna wait for everybody. Hi, everybody, Hi everybody, welcome on, welcome on to the show. Stan's Pandemic Tips, episode, the final episode. Hi everybody, welcome on the show, welcome, 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 hello, hi, how are you? All right, we're just gonna go straight into it. I don't have time to waste anymore. This is the final episode. It's time to get real. All right, so first, of course, always, we're going to talk about our sponsor, who I'm now the sponsor of, was of once our sponsor, now I'm the sponsor. It's a kind of mutual, bilateral, sponsorish relationship. Hold on. It's Desert Goth Hotline. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Desert Goth Hotline. Screenshot that amazing thing right there. Call that number. Call Desert Goth Hotline. Why haven't you called Desert Goth Hotline? I mean, really, you've had weeks and weeks of doing nothing, and now you have Desert Goth Hotline. Call them. Get it. Also, this week, if you call them, you win a motorcycle. They didn't know that, and I just said that right now, but it's true. What makes it not true? Only me saying it makes it true, so no one who didn't say it not to me doesn't make it untrue. So anyway, call them, get a motorcycle, Desert Goth Hotline. All right, folks, let's talk about... Outside. Now, a lot of you may not have seen outside for weeks, months, years. It's a tortured desert hell landscape that you yourself help create through your own actions, through your own thoughtlessness, to your own. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to face it. It's time to face what you've done. So for years now, you've been studying my tips, my 38 tips. You know about hygiene. You know about revenge. You know about music. You know about everything there is to know. And now it's time to get the final lesson, folks. The final lesson. Going outside. Now some of you might be surrounded by walls. You might think, how am I going to get outside if there's a wall in my way? Well, what you need to do is think about the walls as not walls. What are they? Except something that you invented that you thought. It's a wall? No, it's not. It's just a thing in your way. What if there was a way to get out of the walls? That's right. So right now, folks, I want you to summon some courage. Now, you might find some reasons not to go outside. You might think, there's millions of people out there who want to murder me. You might think, my pants are over there. It's just too hard. Well, let those reasons come to you and delay going outside, but eventually you're going to have to face it. So now I want you to face it with me. In the comfort of your own home, in the comfort of your own phone, we're going to face it together. You guys ready? Okay, take a deep breath. Oh, oh, we're going to go outside. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. We're going outside, folks. It's getting intense. Ugh. And here we are. Here we are, folks. It was always outside. Look at that. That's the motorcycle you can win if you call Desert Goth Hotline. Look at us. We're outside, folks. We're outside. We're here. We're everywhere. Let's go on a little adventure, don't we? Let's do it. All right, folks. Now, I don't know where I am. I just visualized this. This might all be in my own imagination. But right now, you're with me on this hellish hellscape of a hell ride. Let's go. Let's go down this wild, weird path. Where's it go? I don't know, and it's getting dark. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, folks. Now, nobody knows I'm doing this except you, so... Uh, oh, no, an obstacle. Let's deal with it in the best way we know how. Jumping! Okay, we did it. All right, folks. Where are we going? What's going on? Anybody have any special requests? Too late! Here we go! Whoa! All right, folks, let's look around. Where is this place? This is what's called outside, folks. And it's not very nice. Let's go take a look. Now, one of the fun things about outside is you can find stuff that you can use later on. Woo! This is a lot of exercise for me. Like, look at this. This, this bank of post-apocalyptic beams. Hey, that's some good barbed wire right there. I bet I could use that for something exciting. I could use that to tie myself up. Whatever it is, you know, solitary activities are what you need in a time of pandemic crisis. Let's hurry, folks. I feel like 
I feel excited to be outside. Right now I'm outside. I'm running around. Nothing's going to stop me, folks. This is it. This is the real thing. Me running down the... Folks, are you following this? Here we go. All right, here we go. We're going outside. Now look over here. It's this beautiful sunset. There's birds. I just want you to see, folks, there's really nothing to fear except, um, you know, crazy people who've been collecting guns for years and have nothing but murder on their minds. Also, you can fear germs. You could probably fear booby traps. You can fear wild animals. I mean, there's quite a lot to fear. I take back what I said earlier. But right now, walking with me on your phone where there's nothing to fear, there's nothing to fear. You can just watch me wade into danger vicariously as if you yourself were in a dangerous position, which you kind of are. I mean, aren't phones radioactive? I mean, I don't really know. But anyway, here we go, folks. Outside. I'm going, uh, I'm leading us to my secondary hideout. And once I go into this hideout, folks, I don't know if I'm going to see you again. Actually, I might see you again. I just want to let you know there might be one more episode. If I make it, I need you to tune in. I'm going to call up one fellow named Michael Surwich. And he and I are going to do specialized astrology podcast for, for the 12 signs in the post-apocalyptic pandemic world. Oh my God, folks, look. Whoa, that was intense. All right, here we go. We're heading to my final hideout. So if any of you have any final messages, please type them on your tiny little rectangle and send them to me. And, uh, you know, someone will get it. It'll be exciting. All right, folks, here we go. Here we go. It's a little bit scary. But uh, I just want to say... It's been great having you. These past pandemic weeks have been some of the best weeks of my life. <laughs> and I really want to thank all of you for being here with me on this journey. But now, folks, it's time to get real. All right, folks, I'm leaving the outside. I'm going back inside. And, and I just want to say, I love you all. Until then, think positive. And vamos a la playa.